I started out in PR, really that path goes back to journalism. And it started as a reporter who believed in issues and people and causes. And as a young reporter, I also felt that telling stories and uh, crusading on behalf of uh, justice and what I believed in was a really important part of journalism. And eventually it evolved into public relations and into what I do today. And one of the features that me remains the same is people and that people matter, the issues and the causes that they promote matter and stories matter. And so in that same way, I'm doing a lot of what I started out doing years ago. I worked around the anti-apartheid movement and we worked on campaigns that um, included uh, demonstrations at the South African Embassy and we worked on uh, the free Nelson Mandela campaign in the United States at a time when he was in prison. And no one even knew what Nelson Mandela looked like. More than 20 years ago, 22 years ago to be exact, when McKinney and Associates put up its shingle, starting in a church basement, we believed that what we were doing mattered. And with the same humility and pride and grit and moxie that started in that church basement on 14th and V Street in the St. Augustine Ecumenical Center, we bring to our work here on the ninth floor of a K Street office suite. It seems like a far distance but not really in the sense that McKinney and Associates stands for the same kinds of values and issues. And certainly the client work and the, the times have changed. And so the nature of the work is very different. But the one thing that remains the same is our credo, public relations with a conscience. And um, we're not hired guns in the sense that just because you can sign on the dotted line, we work for you. No, there is a, a shared mission and a shared pack between our clients. And just as our clients pick us, we pick them. And that remains a hallmark of the work that we do. Being a woman in a, a power town like Washington, and especially a few decades ago, and coming to the table and trying to find a place at the table when there's no seat for you. That's often very challenging. And the key is not to feel you don't belong there or you shouldn't edge your way to the table. It's to find effective ways to get there without necessarily turning the table upside down. If you're um, a woman, especially an African-American woman, in a, a business that is it's, it's dominated by women, but not in the seats of power. And those who are the most powerful don't necessarily look like me. So I think it's having the confidence and belief in yourself. And sometimes that confidence and belief can be uh, misconstrued. You have to believe that what you are standing for is worthy of attention. And then you have to believe in the causes and connect with people who can understand that. Communications is in my soul. My career has been very diverse. Um, my major in college was international business. Um, so I've gone from sales and, and management and marketing and advertising. Uh, that was my way of getting my foot in the door in, in TV. doing all of the community work that I've done to now head up uh, the Corporate Citizenship and Social Responsibility Department for Pepco Holdings, I've been able to just bring everything together and so now I'm able to talk about and promote the partnerships that we have with some of our nonprofit organizations. Pepco employees are known for their volunteer efforts and we're known for doing well by doing good. 
um, and this is an opportunity. I'm just helping the company. I'm helping Pepco to share that story. My life is focused around my family. So at the end of the day, no matter what happens here at Pepco, what happens out on the street, I know that I have a husband and two wonderful little boys who love me and I'm really doing the things that I'm doing um, to set a good example for my sons. I'm out at events uh, two, three times a week and sometimes my sons will go with me to an event. Um, I've got a great picture of my son holding up our number for an auction item uh, because I want them to understand what, uh, what I'm doing, my husband also, what he's doing. So over the years, especially as a reporter, I emceed, it seems like every gala out there uh, served on many boards uh, from Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Um, I've been, you know, uh, with United Way on the board. I've just been very committed to a number of organizations over the years and have provided pro bono, um, you know, consultation. I really believe, and I have always believed, that to whom much is given, much is required. And I have really always lived my life like that. So when I had the opportunity to take on this new role as Vice President of Corporate Citizenship and Social Responsibility for Pepco, Pepco Holdings, I thought, my God, this is, this is perfect. But if you believe also in what you're doing, then you can get other people to believe that as well. Because if you're speaking from your heart, it's, it's about passion and just thinking about what you're doing. Um, you, you, will, you will succeed. That's what it is, is about just don't give up. Having spent more than 20 years in big agency, I am very fortunate to have worked with so many talented people and have been inspired by really incredible clients, their missions, what their work is. Now that I'm running my own shop, um, I am very fortunate. I do partner with a lot of the big agencies, um, which is really wonderful because I love that energy, I love the talent, um, I love the synergy, but I also um, seek out clients by myself um, and with other partners that are focused on issues that I'm personally very passionate about. Um, and, and being able to work with those clients has been such an enriching experience so far. One of the things I love most about the work that I do is that I am focused on social causes and social change. And that really, that's what keeps me fired up at the end of the day and when I wake up in the morning and you know, that's what I find most motivating, but it's also just um, what I love so much about this profession. You know, you can figure out what your passion is and pursue it and apply everything that you've learned, all those skills, the um, partnerships, the connections, the relationships that you have and bring it all to bear on those issues that really move you. I have been mentored by two incredible, incredible people and so I can only hope that you know over the next however many years much less this this year I'm able to be able to be as supportive and helpful one thing that I often say is um, it's really important to feed the fire in your belly find your passion and feed it just keep feeding it because this is 
a profession where we work really, really hard. Not that other professions don't, we all work really hard, but you know, there's a lot of grunt work involved to make our clients, our organizations um, very successful. But so if you can find the one or three or seven things that really get you going, you know, whether it's you're fired up because you believe it, you're fired up because it needs to change, you're fired up because you just love doing it. When you're in those low moments and you're thinking, why am I doing this? <laughs> because everyone else has a life and I don't have a life. The thing that fires you up is going to make you remember why you're doing it.